The Manageability Software and Subscription Showcase is based on data models and Power BI reports that are automatically generated by Actaris for a variety of accounting, SSAS, and payment platforms like Dynamics, QuickBooks, Stripe, and Xero. The different report pages cover a wide variety of topics from overall financial dashboard that includes a consolidated view of all the companies that were added to the Acaris model and user can now navigate in this model as required using visualizations that Acaris provides for actual budget variants where they can view them in absolute numbers or in uh, relative numbers. They can also edit the data directly here just by dragging and dropping on the bar and they can view the data by moving the mouse pointer there and seeing all the underlying transactions. We have top customers, age datas, revenue forecasts, and the key metrics here. And if I want to see this for a particular company, I can just we can drill down to a particular company and see the results just for this particular company. The next report covers more specific subscription requirements where the users have immediate insights of how have the different products performed over time, what are the metrics in regards to trial users, where they're coming from, uh, geographic distribution, referral sources, overview of editions and frequencies. And the users can also maintain the data here, for example, the targets and set the targets that they want to compare the actuals to either on a total level where they can edit the data directly uh, for the entire period, in this case for the entire year, or if they drill down into a specific period to change the targets there for a particular period. These changes are automatically reflected in the goals when, the, when you compare the actuals against the target. On the right side here, we see now all the key metrics that are typically relevant for subscription businesses like uh, number of paying customers, annual recurring revenue, cost of acquisition, annual recurring revenue per customer, the wins from trials, the lifetime value of a customer, lost customers and churn rates. And with the Power BI Power, I can analyze these now in every area. So I can click, for example, on a particular product edition and see how we are performing in that particular area and everything automatically adapts. Another thing that we're covering here are the smart narratives that are now available in Power BI. So if I click uh, on a button here, I get automatically generated narratives on the report that reflect the data here. So I can see that our AR was higher, that the particular edition made up 15% of the AR that a particular country is very successful and so on. All these things I can easily edit and customize as a user as well. The final report here covers artificial intelligence driven insights. So for example, if I want to see what are the factors that increase customer wins, um, Power BI automatically generates what are the influences that are leading to customer wins. And we can see in a particular month, we are particularly strong in a particular region, a particular product edition and so on. I can see the factor that is driving um, the particular key influences here. Uh, the same works for areas where we are not so strong. So now Power BI runs automatically the key influencer analysis and shows me now where in what areas are we lagging behind. And then I can also switch to the segments and can see in what particular segments uh, are we not performing so well or the other way around to see what are segments that are particularly successful for us and then adapt my marketing campaigns accordingly. So this was just an overview of three reports. The Acaris apps actually includes way more reports that you can see here. And if you want to find out more, just get them from AppSource for a variety of systems or contact managerly to discuss your project.